I like sleeping in. Welcome back. So let's see, last time I uh, opened up the other way through the Lost Bastille. So I guess I might as well continue on that. I guess I'll just go from here. Might as well. Up here. I guess I'll go ahead and fight this guy. Oh, that still hit me. Yeah, I, I do need to invest in something that gives me uh, more agility, because, wow. Hey, hey you. Gonna do it again? Yep. Once you know you can do stuff like that, some of these sections just become easier. This section is not gonna be easier. There we go. Now we're gonna have about six of these dudes. Let's just go ahead and... I think that's one guy fell. Two of them fell, that's actually pretty good. Usually they're a little better about not falling in the hole. <laughs> Too bad they like all aggro on you at once. It's really frustrating. Ah, uh, let's go. Down here first, I guess. Alright, I think this is a door that just... Yeah. It's a door that just leads to death. Let's go up these ladder. Don't mind me. Here we go. You skeleton? Yes. Don't give up skeleton. I will always up those. And yep, trio ahead. Just gonna go ahead and use this. I don't know if I can do this. But I'm gonna go ahead and try. Ow. Oh! I got lucky there. Oh, she fell. And swing. Yeah, I staggered him. Cool. Okay. Thanks for that. Oh, I need to get down. So here's the problem. Yeah, they're kind of, uh... Owie. Owie. No, damn it. I'm dead. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's all that coming. Oh well, I gave it a try. That's all that really matters. I think I'll come back to that a little later. What did you drop? Lingering flame? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. These guys actually drop some crazy pyromancies. Very rarely. Hey, I'm right here. Yeah, see, sometimes he actually has good pathing. Please fall. Aw. He didn't fall. Oh well. Dude! Oh lord. <laughs> oh yeah, switches on the other side. Whoops. Oh, right. Again, you, you need the ember to, you know. Ah, uh, too. What do I want to do now? Kind of... Mm. Oh, hang on. Do I have a... Oh, I don't. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I just... Maybe I should just... Oh, I should just make progress over here. Fight some things, level up a bit, and then come back. I love how this message says, comfort required ahead, and then it shows a ghost just bashing him. Poor guy's just sitting there. Alright, so we'll go up here. I thought there was a guy that was supposed to jump down. Oh, well there is a guy here. Aha. Know your game. Alright. Let's shed some light on the situation. 
health. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Your arrows mean nothing to me. Actually, they do mean something because they do hurt a lot. Yeah, arrows in this game are actually pretty dangerous. None for you. Yay, and then you come. Yeah, that, okay, that's the ambush I was thinking of. And, uh, yeah. That's not gonna work. Yep. Door is a ruse. Alright, time to make the message. There we go. That's something I never actually did in the, uh, in the playthrough that I did uh, of the first game, was that there's a merchant in the aqueduct. She sells you poison moss and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and dig. Alright, and before going anywhere else, first off, shortcut. Boom. And bonfire. Alright, so this place can be a little annoying because there are a lot of enemies that hide. And, like, behind trees and around corners and things like that. Sort of like the dude over here. But also... No! I missed it. Oh well. I'll get it later. There's a downstairs here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the bow back on, because that's gonna be important. Now we get rid of that butterfly. Get rid of that one too. So that they're not spewing poison. Although there's one right there as well. See these weird little mushroom platforms here, and there's a guy in the water who's um don't really know what he's trying to do here. Just kind of uh walking around. There we go. Oh no! Dang it. So yeah, the butterflies will drop poison moss, which is handy. It'll be especially handy in the near future, at least on this route. And then you end up back here. This is the part where you be wary of enemy, because it puts you right back over here. On the other side of this stupid little room. I'm not even going to drink, so I'm just going to sit at the bonfire again. That item there. I don't think it's that important. I'm just going to leave it be. Fuck it. Okay, so... Like I said, there's a lot of enemies hiding around here. So if you go immediately for that item there, that guy comes after you, so... Yeah. Oh, and that guy... <laughs> uh, that guy just rolled off the edge. Of course. Oops. Yeah. It's not only are there hidden dudes, but there are those guys. There are a couple of these big dudes. Pretty sure that guy... Yeah, that guy noticed me. Oh, whoops. Press the button too late. Thankfully, he doesn't get shoved too far, so it's easy to just brawl him. There we go. Punched your back. No shoulders for you. Go here, and yep, look, there's another dude. And there's another guy. Punish you. I wish the game would lock on appropriately. Unfortunately, the game did not lock on appropriately. Go down here. And there is more poison moss. And Soul Spear! On a sorcery character, Soul Spear is absolutely essential. Really? Really? You went all the way there? Just to die? Okay. That's what you wanted. That's what you get. Oh, and of course that guy. You don't want to charge because there are still other dudes around here. Now... There is. Yeah. I was about to say, there is someone waiting to ambush. 
You gotta be careful when you go for this lever. Nah. Nah. Ow! Another one? No! Be wary of bug message? I've never understood those. I guess maybe sometimes when the bridge comes down it actually like either it would like insta kill you because it was considered still moving or something or maybe it just didn't exist for a minute. A brief little jaunt into here. And there's bastard skellies. And you can already tell just by that. There's a necromancer. Ooh, magic mace. So I want you guys to come over here. Yes. Come over here. Oh, nope. No, oh, I want to... There we go. And of course, the necromancers, much like in the first game, are one time only. Oh yeah. Just got rid of that problem there. And here's a bridge to the other side of the chasm. And of course there's an enemy. Yeah, yeah, cry some more. Now of course... <laughs> There's a door. You have to open it on the other side. But this guy doesn't know that. He's just gonna keep trying to get over here. It's like, how do I go? How do I go? Ow. Nope. I am no fool. Much in the same way as I am no fool. Here. And there we go. Undead lockaway key. I'm actually gonna go back and use that. That's for the uh, closed up place. So, I'm gonna point this out because I love it. So, this is a clear sign of the way the game loads areas. Is that the corpses of the skeletons I've killed end up T-posing when they're in a different area. So they're just like this on the ground. And that happens with more than just the skeletons. It's just a weird sign of how they load areas. It's kind of strange. Alright, here we go. Let's open the door. And look who it is. Who are you? I thought you'd have bastard for a moment. Oi. You've set me free. Now I can find him. Who that? Cheeky prick. Dude. You won't know what hit him. Watch the fucking language. Yeah. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. What a dumbass. I can't believe that I was so dense. Yeah, that's pretty dumb of you. Pate. I think he's Whoa. dead. He wears this rather unusual ring. You know it when you see it. I've seen his type before. He kills entirely for the pleasure of it. Oh. Not Pate. Pate's our friend. He gave us a summon. Pate, the man stone. With a strange... But he was so honest about the trap that we found. There's no way he could be an evildoer. No way. Yeah, obviously, this is a situation where the two of them are very conniving people, but one of them is different than the other. By only a slight margin. Anyways.